Goody. Hey, um, I'm MJ and today um, on your mat, tonight on your mat, this afternoon on your mat, anytime, multiple times on your mat. <laughs> um, in the beginner's yoga practice, I am gonna show you how to go through Sri Namaskar A, like we've been doing, but also break down Sri Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. And if you have no idea what that means, it doesn't matter because it repeats itself over and over and over again. So standing in Tandasana, the top of your mat, bring the soles of your feet together. None of this, none of that. Shoulders down and back, pelvis is forward, jaw just over the sternum. Akam inhale, lift. And do we exhale, fold forward. Again, inhale, lift up. And exhale down. All right, next part, we're going back. Inhale, halfway. Heart forward. You can always put your fingertips onto your shins to make sure you that extension of your spine. And exhale, step back right and left. So this modified plank at first, if you need to come down onto your knees and just really feel the alignment, you're more than welcome to, and then take one foot at a time. Hold this high plank position. Shift your weight forward. Squeeze your arms into your sides like you don't have any arms, right? I hope so. Don't, you can still do yoga. Inhale, lift up. Baby cobra. Kneecaps are off the earth, right? And then inhale, full extension. So don't put all the weight into your wrist. None of this. Lots of extension. You can drop the knees onto the earth or tuck your toes under, either one. Take three deep breaths. Traditionally, we take five, but just take three here. Remember, you're pushing your heart back, but still keeping it open. And breathing into the back door of your heart, right? So all the way to the back of your thoracic spine. Now inhale, look halfway up. If you have trouble stepping up, you can always drop one knee down, then step up, and then step up left. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, Samasthi to He. So if that fold for, folding forward action is still a little bit difficult for you, especially starting out, you can always take your fingertips onto your hips and cup in your lower abdominals, but don't crunch everything over, and pull the pelvic floor towards the belly button, and just really right, right underneath the belly button, because that's the center of your spine. So if I fold forward like that, and then lock in my root lock, my mula bandha, I'm gonna be able to get more extension. As long as I'm breathing, I can even get more ex extension through it. And inhale, come up. So watch this, if I just go down like this, there's not really any connection going on to the breath and the body. All right, so inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Keeping that cup, don't spill your soup or there'll be no soup for you. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back right, step back left. Pull your heart forward, you have to work, okay? Just like, the quote by Buddha, Siddhartha, we all must do our own work, right? Lift, oh, it feels nice. Remember you can drop down to the knees or tuck your toes under, but work on rolling your feet back. Two breaths this time. Now find a third inhale. And just exhale, put your knees down onto the earth. You can take your feet to the side or cross over and roll over. So we're gonna prep for Sri Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. I like to prep this way because it really helps us understand our chair pose, Utkatasana, how awkward it is, because that's what it translates into as well, awkward pose. So I'm gonna come down on the ground. You may not like me for this, and I apologize, but it's good for you, right? It's like yoga cough medicine. So inhale, fill your stomach up. We've done this before. And then exhale, hollow it out so you have a flat back on the earth. Lift your legs up, one, two. Knees don't go over hips. Spread your toes out wide. So it's like we're standing on the earth, which is how 
Surya Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B, begins. Then bring your hands into a prayer. The reason why I like to seal the hands is because you don't want to scatter all your energy around the room. Same thing with keeping your mouth closed when you breathe in and out through your nose. Inhale, the head comes up, the chin comes up. So this feels very awkward and uncomfortable. But what I'm doing is, is I'm slightly pulling my diaphragm forward and my torso forward and get a little bit of shake in the earthquake. And I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> and exhale down. So we're gonna do five more of those. Inhale, lift, head up, jaw up, eyes up, exhale down. And you see as I lift how my arms, they're in this kind of a pike volleyball position. That's the way you want your arms to be so your shoulders don't come up and eat your ears. Exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Let's do two more. Ha ha. One. <laughs> exhale. And two. Exhale. It's like, so how do I get up? Well, we're all different. And yoga helps you create a new wiring. Cross your legs forward. Fingertips down. Now, a lot of people, you know, real briefly will ask me, like, well, you know, how old are you? And I had a teacher tell me one time, she said, you know, your real age is in your spine. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to peel the layers of an onion away so we can get to know ourselves better. So really, sometimes I feel like I'm 16. Sometimes I feel like I'm 11. So I look at old photos of myself and I'm like this. And I'm still trying to open all this up. So back to our plank. You know you like it. Pull it forward. Lower down, elbows squeeze in, either hover off the ground, but if you're just starting out, go all the way down. Inhale, lift up into your upward facing dog. Focus on opening up your heart. And then exhale, either tuck your toes or roll over. Whatever you have to get there today is exactly where you're supposed to be. So prepping for our warriors in Sun Salutation B. Exhale, put your left knee down on the floor at first, and then step up right, even if you gotta grab that right ankle. Inhale, look forward. You want to square your hips up so they're facing forward, just like your heart. Take your back foot and put it on the ground 30 degrees. Straighten out your front leg. Now, what just happened? The right hip went on vacation. So you want to make sure they're bumping in one line and squeeze your root lock. And remember that cup. You want to cup in your lower abdominals. If you don't extend this far, it doesn't matter. I've been practicing for a while now. We're always learning. Exhale, bend your knee. Balance out your left hip and your right hip. Take your arms back like wings. Peel your chest off your leg. And then inhale, lift up high towards the heavens. Lift your jaw up. So this is almost the same action on the earth. And then exhale, release it down. Step it back. And practice on getting the full extension of your exhale as you lower. Inhale, lift up on a full inhale. And then exhale onto the knees or roll over to take it back. The louder your breath, the quieter your mind. So breathe louder if you need to. Step up left, right knee down. So you can put that right knee down first and then step up left or vice versa, whatever works for you. You know your body way better than I do. Take your back foot flat onto the earth. Bump that right hip, left hip in one line. Squeeze, remember that cup right there. Straighten out the leg. You ask, why do we do this? Well, when we go up to standing, there's a pull that happens in the back of the hamstrings and the alignment will change regardless of what we're doing on the earth. So once we lift up, you know, your feet get a little bit more weight from the knee and the quads. Eyes up, chin up. Keep squeezing your hips. Breathe with your lips closed. And then exhale. All the way through. All the way down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck or roll. So we are gonna take five breaths, especially if you're new starting out, that might have been a lot for you today. But no, you can always play this over again and see what's going on inside your own geometry of your body.
On that fifth breath, inhale. Exhale to bend your knees, squeeze. Remember, you can step or walk forward or hop forward. Now, if you're gonna step forward, starting out to learn how to hop forward, one trick, there's so many, to get the abdominal straight is walking in as close as you can. So there's this understanding inside the deep transverse abdominals. Exhale, feet together. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold in. Now here we go, we're gonna stand in our chair, just like we were on the ground. Lift up, draw that triangle in the earth. Here it is, very awkward. Head up, and usually this is just on one breath action, but we're taking a little bit longer. And then exhale, samasthi to he. So even at a slow and steady pace, I'm actually getting something from that. Feel your mat through the footsteps of your mind. Breathe louder to unwind any stagnant energy that doesn't have to do about the time on your mat. <laughs> so I'll see you next time, right? Again and again and again. I think I can practice and take care of myself. I think so. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you.